Hey everyone, I'm glad that you found this video because for Razer users this day would be awesome. It would be awesome if you have already rooted your phone and you can enjoy KitKat 4.4 on your Razer now. So yeah, this is a Synergy Mod 11 and this is unofficial KitKat for the Razer. It's available for GSM and um, CDMA versions. So yeah, I downloaded it on XDA and uh, let's check it out quickly. This is 4.4 KitKat, the real deal. And yeah, it's unofficial and it's from uh, it's from November. It's um, quite old, but everything works like Wi-Fi connects quickly and camera is also functional. I will show you for confirmation uh, that camera works. That's always a big deal for many users. Um, the guys on Facebook always ask me if camera works, if bugs are persistent and how bad the bugs are, if I get issues. So yeah, this is camera. Let's check it out. It's a um, uh, portrait mode now, but you can change it. Um, picture size. No. More options. Picture size. Let's check this one out. So yeah, you get a full 8 megapixel photo, so that's always great. Let's check it out. You uh, you won't get Photosphere, unfortunately, because that is a um, premium feature on next phones. I've seen it work on Note 2 devices and many other Samsung devices, but on this one, the Motorola Razr, it isn't available. I saw it in 4.2.2 versions. Maybe the Cyanogen Mod team will add them or any other developer. So yeah, let's change to uh, Camcorder. You can always take photos while recording, where we know that settings, time lapse. Maybe we can get to quality. No, we can't, unfortunately. But yeah, video quality is good. I checked it and you should also check it out. It's awesome. So yeah, 4.4 KitKat, I, I just can't believe it on this old phone. Razer, it's two years old. No, it's almost three years, if I'm right. Maybe you correct me, but let's check out the wallpapers quickly. Installation is easy, of course. Just uh, install it as a zip file in recovery and um, uh, choose a ROM slot one. Um, unfortunately, it won't work on any other one. So your other ROMs, you should, should um, move them to two or three and... CM wallpapers. You will get the new CM wallpapers, which I like very much. So yeah, all these great wallpapers. They are now um, more to the nature, nature side. They all uh, were took in very nice places. So yeah, wallpapers. You will also get the KitKat wallpapers. Sorry for my not coordinated actions here on the on the screen wallpapers of course you will get 4.4 wallpapers which i love especially this one this always reminds me of uh, leaked pictures of the nexus 5 or always um looking good is also this one this one very colorful now and yeah let's check out this one love it Dark blue and green looks awesome on this AMOLED screen, which is still great for today's standards. Very nice colors. Of course, all icons are refitted and redesigned. You will get a transparent status bar. This was always a big deal on other versions of Android. They um, claimed to be um, premium features on many ROMs that you get the transparent status bars on also 4.1.2 and 4.2. Now it's a stock feature on any uh, 4.4 ROM. White icons, um, notification tray is the same like in 4.2.2. You can also swipe. And you can also enable quick uh, actions here like swipe down right and swipe down left for notifications. Yeah, right for 
for your quick toggles settings. Very fluid, I have to say. And uh, since this is an older version of 4.4 KitKit, it's great. I will give you the link and I will also give you the link of the whole thread um, in your description. And you will see that there's also another download site which offers nightlies, but they aren't so stable. I think I downloaded a nightly and it was laggy as hell, I have to say. Uh, side engine mod version uh, 11th, uh, so um, November, unofficial UMTS. This is also an unofficial version, but I will give you the site where you can download this e exact version because it's very fluid and the other one was rubbish. Yeah, this is 4.4 KitKat. I will introduce you to the uh, home screen. No, sorry, the log screen, of course. You can add widgets and you can also disable that function to add widgets. Looks very clean and it makes the phone faster than ever. This is all the improvements and APIs of any other phone which uh, which comes with KitKat stock. So yeah, settings, you will get um, settings for lock screen, maximize widgets and for home. You can change between these two launches, but they are both the same. I don't know why uh, they add these two. Uh, don't have an idea. So themes work, of course. You can always try that out. I love to have it um, like the stock. Stock, um, like the developer decided to theme it, but um, that's your own taste. Quick pull down, I showed you this one for quick settings, and this one for your notification tray, tights, and layout. You can always change that. So, yeah, uh, not many um, customization here, not much customization. Sorry. But um, yeah, it's an early version. Um, camera works. Wi-Fi connects quickly. I will show you that in a second. Let's go to Wi-Fi. It's off. Turn it on. Turn Wi-Fi on. We'll find my wireless LAN. My Wi-Fi. Saved. Connecting. Connected. Works flawless guys so yeah wi-fi works everything works before you ask watch this video <laughs> you probably have if you heard this phrase so guys i love making videos again took a small break uh over new year's eve and christmas and yeah happy new year i have to say first video in 2013 uh 13 no <laughs> 14, of course. Sorry. Yeah, I have to uh, be organized better. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. G apps and um, ROM are in the description uh, linked. And yeah, I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy your Silent Mod uh, 11 phone. Bye.